What's going on guys? Quasi here. Uh, excuse any background noise. I have a stream running in the background and also the TV is loud. Uh, I'm not the one using the television. Okay, so um, I want to help you guys that want to use Human Generator but want to use Auto Rig to remap or even Rococo but want to maintain using uh, all of the things for uh, use Rigify. Okay, so we're gonna just go ahead and add. I'm just do just setting it up. Go ahead and add the face rig. <laughs> Excuse me. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add Rigify. So I'm not gonna wait on it, just gonna handle it. Okay, so I always say click the rig so we can close this. Click the rig, go down to uh, the object data properties, and then we'll go to viewport. I'm gonna put it in front. Okay, so when you bring this in, chances are on the side panel, you're gonna have item tool okay sometimes it's under tool most of the time it's going to be under item now it's going to be what you're using as you see here right okay so it's come in here and i'm going to click the hand and i'll hit g and move it and it automatically comes in as ik okay so if you're using mixmo animations they're in fk now you can convert your stuff to ik through auto rig but i say go ahead and just like you would have to rig it that way but it's just easier to just swap it over so I'll tell you what I mean by swap it over okay so what I'll do is I'm going to show you because so we're gonna do is it's, it's gonna remap this gonna have to remap it but either way it's already in IK so we're gonna switch it over so now anything in red is the IK controls okay you see all the red right these are the IK controls okay so anything in green is an FK control all right it's an FK control so when you click the hand, it's, we're going to have right here, IK to FK. Boom. So now that's not going to work. So we're now on this. Okay. So come over here, do the same thing. And I'm going to do this on all of them. I do the same thing on the legs, which I can do here. Because if I click here, it's still going to be down there. Okay. So I'm just clicking the one that's easiest to get to. All right. So now that's it. So when I click the torso, it's going to move the whole thing. All right. But I want to turn that off. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to select the face. I mean, not select the face. I'm sorry. Select. Uh, I'm going to turn off fingers because I'm not going to use that because you're going to use the finger details. I'm going to turn off the IK control. And when you cut off the one for the legs, it tends to make this thing slide up. Don't know why it does that, but it, hasn't, it didn't do it here, so we're good. And I'm going to turn off the tweaks because I don't use the tweaks except for the torso. All right. Okay, so that's set. Now, <clears throat> excuse me, with that being said, we have face controls, and all the controls are there, as we can see, all right? And then I'm gonna go to auto rig. Now, when I go to auto rig, I'm gonna go to remap, of course. I'm going to hit target, because we know that's the target armature. So for that, I'm gonna bring it, I'm just gonna create another collection, click collection seven, come down, hit FBX. And then in the FBX, what I'll do is I'll just go to my animations. I'm just gonna bring in a stop walk. You probably can't see me doing that because of how I have the thing set up. So now this is in for the sake of it, just work for organization. I'm gonna actually type in stop walk because I like to do that. And it's just just the way I move. Oh, it's stop streaming, I guess. Yeah, you stop streaming. All right. So uh, I'm sorry for that. Now, okay, so it's the tar it's the source, and now we're going to hit build bone list, and the bone list is empty, as you see. So what I do is I just shift select the armature I want to use. In this case, I'm going to bring it a little closer so that I don't have to go too far. I'll just sit, shift select the ones and then go into pose mode, okay? So click the bone, then we're going to come over here to the synchro select. Same thing I did with the other with the other video for the Xenoverse models, you're doing the exact same thing. Okay, so over here, since it's this particular arm, I'm gonna select that one and frame it. And do the same thing all the way down. And it's pretty easy, so this one's not a lot of extra pieces and I don't have to do too much to get it where I need it to be. Uh, the, this, the most tedious thing is the fingers. I lie to you not. Like, that's the most tedious thing of the freaking fingers. They are annoying because they're so little. Uh, come over here, click that, click that, click 
this, click that, click this, click that, click this. All right, torso will be uh, for the pelt. Do not use the hips because the hips are just holding at the bottom, and we want this as the root motion. Okay, so we want that to be for the the, the hips or the pelvis. All right, so we click the torso. That's for rigify. For auto rig, it's going to be the under C underscore root dot x. All right, or master root. Okay, so now we're going to the spine. It's going to be a little different because I'm because I tend not to use this. I tend to use this one for that, and then this one. Uh, since it's because this is the top, that would be the top chest. So I'll use this one for that, and then for this one up here, I tend to use this top one. That's why I use the tweaks for that. Okay. So, <clears throat> excuse me. Or sometimes you can just just I just say sometimes just give it both the chest. So I'll just do that. All right. So with that being said, give me a second to pause it real fast. Okay, so let's continue. So all of that's been done, let's get to the legs. Again, simply just clicking them left and right. Just going back and forth, it's pretty simple. All right, all the way down to the foot. And the first one on the mixed mode model is the, is the toe. All right, let's do the same thing over here. So I want to make sure I got these because I feel like I missed one. All right, cool. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so then. Sorry. So then now we deal with the fingers. Okay. So this has four, I believe. So I only need from here down. Okay. And I go. And that was the thumb, right? Yeah, so. No, 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 no. Go to the top one. I'm tripping. Go to the top one. Because even this one has four. It's just a small tip. But I don't want the fourth one. I just want the third one. All right. And go from there. So I'll pause and finish this. Okay, so the next thing you want to make sure that you do is save it. So we will go to export and then go to the folder we want to export it to. I'm sorry, uh, the map presets. Do I want to do it in there or in here? Nope, it's not in there, it's in here. Okay, again, you can't see what I'm doing, but that's fine because we're working on it. All right. All right, so that's saved, okay? So now, I'm gonna come back out of that, click this one, go down to redefine pose. I'm gonna hit the C button, and then I'm just gonna select the, the arms, legs, the uh, arm, forearm, leg, calf, and then apply bone rotation, and then go to retarget. I'm sorry, okay, oops, forgot to do that. Uh, where is the torso? Don't forget on the torso to set it to uh, set as root. So I'm going to go back to that because I want to make sure that uh, that's set. All right. And then I'm going to go and fake user and then wait it out. And there you have it. So now the fingers are set, but I always say correct them because for some reason I don't know why their rotation is off. But this is what I like about having animate. <clears throat> so I'll delete this one because I don't need it anymore. And we'll just come down here and clean it up. Okay, so click here. And then I'm going to select it. Do this. And then because uh, I'm in pose mode, I can go to...
poses might not be correct for that. So I think I'm just going to take this to current file and just leave it like that. All right. So I'll just select that and then just hit rotation. All right. Go to all individual origins, local. Click the rotation tool. I'm going to deselect these. What happened? Oh. And then let's roll it. Okay. And then for the sake of it, because I know I can now go back and I can select those. I'm just going to select out of that, copy it, come over here, do the same thing, deselect that, copy, and paste in reverse. All right, there we go. Now, these arms, I don't know why that does that, but I come down to the actual bone properties and check to see if that's messed up. But it gives me full rotation, so I'll just pull that out some because your arms will not be bent like that. I don't know why it does that. I tend to fix that, but I just left it like it is. But again, animate allows me to be able to do that. So now we turn animate off and we will come over here and we're going to make sure to play uh, frame dropping on the playback and follow every current, I mean, follow current frame. So I'll slide this up so we can see how many frames we have to go. And we clearly see it's 40. So let's type in 40 because it stops and press play. And it's done.